nine bold commitments you need to make right now to change your life and to live the life that you desire. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Oh, we're excited. We're pumped up today. Have you been to lawofattractionsolutions.com forward slash quiz? Take the quiz, learn your manifesting IQ. So today we're talking about nine bold commitments that you really need to make. The first one is to be totally present. This is the first big secret. You see, you have to ask yourself why Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos like to wash their dishes by hand because they are totally present. It takes them out of the stress. It takes them out of all the things that they are thinking about. And for a moment or two or three, they are present, just simply washing dishes. I know that when we lived in Oregon, sometimes during the day, I would just go out along the side of the house and work on my garden because my garden brought me back to being fully present, fully here right now. As I'm doing this video with you, I am thinking about being only with you only here. The only thing that my mind is focused on is that camera and you. So being totally and completely present. And this is so true when it comes to manifesting in the law of attraction. If your mind is all over the place, you're worried about your fears, you're worried about this, you have doubts, this and that. It's very, very difficult to manifest what you truly desire because your mind is scattered. How do you get present? The easiest way that I have found is to breathe. Focus on your breath in through the nose. Hold it, hold it, hold it out through the mouth. Be present. That's the first big commitment you need to make to literally change your life for the better. The second commitment is to believe in yourself. And so many, so many people doubt who they are, but you listen to me now, you are original. There's nobody that can compete with you. Believe in who you are. Believe in your beliefs, believe in your path. Believe in your goals, believe in your dreams and believe in the positive, optimistic, resourceful outcome. Every moment of every day, reinforce your confidence, your personal power through self belief. You are worth it. The third commitment that you really need to make, I learned from my father. And that is, he used to say, Robert, look, you can't look back in life because if you look back, you look at all your mistakes and all the paths that led to nowhere and all the wasted time. And you'll become anxious and depressed and maybe even angry. All you can do is be present right now and focus on the next step, the next step. This is why if you listen to my audio podcasts and my videos on YouTube, you'll see that I talk so much about micro goals. What am I doing in the next hour? What am I doing in the next day? What am I doing in the next 
week. Yes, long-term goals are great, but micro goals get you to where you're at. You don't look at the top of the ladder and then all of a sudden appear at the top. You climb one rung at a time. Micro goals. It's so important. So the key is look at the next step, focus on the next chunk. You know, the old saying, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. <laughs> and it may be a lot of bites, but that's all you can do is focus on one bite. The next one, the next one, the next one. Soon you will be exactly where you want flying high like a beautiful eagle. Commitment number four, become an expert in a few things. You know, high flyers, my dad used to say another old saying that my father had, some of the smartest people in the world are in prison. In other words, they became smart in a lot of things. And you've known people like this. I have a friend who is 10 times smarter than me and he's living in a van. He's been living there for the last 13, 14 years. And he's, he's very smart. He can do anything, but he never took the time to become smart in a few things. Find those few things that you really desire to do that are going to help you attract the money you desire, the relationships you crave, learn what those things are and then become an expert at them. You know, when you're the Jack of all trades, you end up being the janitor. Janitors are not bad, but maybe you're shooting for something a little bit higher. Commitment number five is build lasting connections. I have a friend and uh, I think it's amazing that she, she almost collects connections. She travels around the country and she looks to make contacts. And I think in her business is probably very apropos. It's very important, but in general, I believe you're more effective in making two or three lasting connections that will last for the rest of your life or for many years to come. Build deep, not wide. In other words, build deep relationships with people, relationships where you can trust them, where you can count on them, where you can believe in them and they can believe in you. I have a friend who's coming out to visit me. We have been close friends, very close friends since 2009. We've never met each other in person, but we've talked for hours. We've communicated via text message and we have a deep relationship. So focus on depth, focus on depth. It's so important. Build deep connections deep friendships, deep relationships. Number six is be response able. You have the ability to respond, response able, be responsible for your life, for your path, for your success, for your direction, for your goals manifested, be responsible. The law of attraction doesn't work. Some of the time it works all the time. People will say, well, the law of attraction didn't work for me, Robert. And I'll say, yes, it did. You manifested exactly what you believed. Well, I did my affirmations, but you didn't believe them. You didn't emotionalize them. You didn't live them. You didn't embrace them. Be responsible. And our next one is very, very important there. Now, listen, there's a law of attraction guru who oftentimes says what well, you can manifest without doing anything. Well, just the idea, just the idea of writing your intention down and thinking about it is an action. So that's not true. If you ever hear someone say you can manifest and you don't have to do anything. Well, question that. 
because just the action of desiring to manifest and writing it down and doing the affirmations and incantations, setting goals, these are actions. There is no attraction without action. Basic law of physics. You must have movement. And so move, take action, take action, you know, about your career, take action about the money that you're attracting, take action about your relationship, take action about your health and your vitality in every area of your life. You will constantly need to take positive, uplifting, affirmative action. Number eight, I have talked about this so much. I will continue to talk about it, you know, forever and ever and ever. And that is gratitude. Be grateful that you are here. Be grateful. You still have opportunities. Be grateful for what you are manifesting. Be grateful for all the good things that have happened in your life. And I highly recommend that if you really desire to make the kind of changes that are important to you in your life, that you take the time to develop a gratitude journal and write in it every single day. And number nine, nine bold commitments to manifest an incredible life. Number nine, treat people as if they were special because they are treat your husband as if he were special, treat your wife as if she were special, treat your boss as if he was special. Every human being on this planet is special. Everyone is unique. Treat everyone as if they were unique, as if they were a diamond, as if they were special. You will find that by putting out that vibe, oh yeah, that vibe will come back to you and more people will be treating you. Yes, you and you as if you were special because you are say it right now, write it down below here. I am special. Come on, claim it. I am special. And the people that I meet in my life are special as well. Okay. We're out of time. Have a great day because you absolutely deserve it. Bye-bye now.